Hello friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new and not subscribed, I'm Kayla Bame and you should really think about subscribing to my channel because the bestest things in the world happen when you do that. So, subscribe. So, for today's video, Mother's Day is coming up real soon. And if you didn't know, my mom is KB Creations. <laughs> so I had this idea. Since she's the ultimate crafter on a budget DIY queen, I thought, why don't I try doing one of her Mother's Day DIYs for her? <laughs> she made these videos telling you guys, look at how cute these Mother's Day DIYs were. So, I'm going to follow one of her tutorials for one of her Mother's Day DIYs for her Mother's Day gift. <laughs> Let's just jump into it. Okay, party people, first things first, we need to talk about our supplies for this Mother's Day DIY. I got this basic canvas board from the Dollar Tree here. And then I took a little dip into my mom's stash and I pulled out her famous star brush and this basic small brush here so I can paint the canvas. I also pulled out a ton of popsicle sticks from her stash because we're gonna need those. And the main thing for this Mother's Day DIY, a box of crayons for melting. And in my mom's video, she said I only needed two paint colors, so I got my blue and my brown out. And then I bought these beautiful spring Mother's Day flowers. And out of that whole crayon box, I am only going to be using the two light green crayons from each box. Now it was time for the DIYing. The KB Creations in her tutorial for this canvas board crayon melting thing, she said to just pour the paint right on the canvas and go crazy. So you know me, painter artist Kayla Bame. I went crazy with that blue paint. And I just want to throw out there, it's totally okay if your canvas board doesn't look as good as mine because I have the authentic crafting supplies here in my house. So I I'm at a slight advantage here, but that's okay. You guys should try anyway. And then KB Creations told me in the little tutorial that she wanted to add some clouds for a beautiful sky. So I just started pouring on the white, pouring on the blue, and mixing it together. Also in my mom's tutorial she said that she painted a sun on there, but my creative mind said that I just wanted to have a cloudy sky. It's not a sunny day, but it's a cloudy sunny day if you know what I mean. And here's a little cameo of KB Creations hand trying to hand me yellow paint. Even though I took it, I still refused to make the sun. And I know what you guys are thinking. If this is a Mother's Day present for KB Creations, then why is she handing me paint and why is she in the same room as me while I'm making her Mother's Day present? And that is because this isn't KB Creations' real Mother's Day present. I know I said it was, but I tricked you guys. I just was going to recreate it just because. If you want to see what I'm actually making for my mom and giving my mom for Mother's Day, well, then you better watch this Friday's video because I'm going to be posting it, okay? The theme of this week is Mother's Day themed, so stick around for what I made, the KB Creations. And yes, I'm aware of how much paint is on this canvas board. That was not by mistake, okay? I never make mistakes when it comes to artist decisions like this. I wanted to have a bunch of paint on the board to add some texture to my canvas because I didn't want it to be boring if I was pretending to give this to my mom. I want it to be nice and beautiful and not boring at all. So I put a whole bunch of paint on the canvas board. 
and because I put so much paint on this canvas board that means it needed time to dry now if you guys know KB Creations she loves to put her projects in the oven now I didn't know that before this DIY I needed to preheat my oven in order to dry my project so I just used my little um, ray gun here to dry it that may be a longer process but I had to think on my feet and this is what I came up with. Coming off! Oh, it'll come off in one piece, she said. There's one. Oh, there's two. There's a third piece. Oh, not coming off. And yes, the Master KB Creations was able to get the little crayon cover off her crayon in one piece. However, in this part of the DIY, I really struggled with getting the paper off the crayon. I don't know how she did it. It's actually, it might be magic. I'm pretty sure it was magic. It had to have been magic. Okay, it'll come off in nine pieces. But anyway, moving on from the crayons, yes, I have the same ray gun that KB Creations used in her DIY. And this is the ray gun that we're going to be using to melt the crayons. And during this part of the DIY, I was expecting to make a massive mess, which I almost did, but it's a lot easier than it looks. And I melted the crayon to make these beautiful grass and stems for our flowers. I think I did a, a fantabulous job, actually. And I'm not entirely sure what this did to me inside, but it awakened something that really just... I don't know. Doing this project made me realize how much I enjoyed melting the crayon. I don't know what that says about me, but I really... After doing this, I wanted to melt the whole box of crayons. I don't know why. It was just a very fun process, okay? I awakened a, a, a crayon melting beast by doing this DIY. Why is it? Hey, your hot glue gun is defective. Why does your hot glue look like maple syrup? <laughs> Despite our burnt maple syrup hot glue, I continued on making this cute little picket fence that KB Creations told me to make in her tutorial. I also almost never used the hot glue gun, so I'm pretty sure I walked away with a whole bunch of blisters on my fingertips because if you didn't know, hot glue is extremely hot and I don't want to hear anybody say anything about how dirty my hands get during this process I have already noted I am a very messy artist and I almost always walk away with paint all over my hands all down my forearm sometimes I get it on my shirt one time I even got it on my face but that's just part of the creative process okay but after I put together my little picket fence, it was time to paint it a nice brown color. We're not doing Tom Sawyer white picket fence, okay? We, we did brown farmhouse picket fence. And when I was painting this picket fence for the video, I didn't even realize until just now editing the video that I completely missed the top half of the popsicle sticks that the camera can see. But from where I was sitting while doing this DIY, uh, I didn't see how much I had actually missed that wasn't painted. When it was on the canvas board, it still looked painted, but yes, I did miss a whole bunch of spots on this picket fence. I know. So I just continued on my journey and I was hot gluing this beautiful half brown picket fence onto my canvas board. And surprisingly, this was the hardest part of the DIY, gluing on the flowers. My beautiful spring Mother's Day flowers, I think I may have chosen the wrong type of flowers because this just wasn't working out for me at all. I had taken the plastic completely off the flower and when I did that, they all flattened out like pancakes and you couldn't even recognize that it was actually a flower. So, me being the genius that I am, I started putting hot glue on the inside of the flowers and doing this pinch and squeeze technique so the hot glue was holding the flower structure together. I honestly should have just went outside and picked fresh flowers because that would have been easier than doing this with all the flowers. 
But I continued on with this technique and I don't think it turned out that bad. And here is my finished KB Creations canvas crayon melting board Mother's Day DIY. Like I said earlier, this is not her Mother's Day present. So if you want to see what I'm actually making for KB Creations for Mother's Day, you better stick around until Friday, people. All right. That is it for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave in the comments down below what you thought of my Mother's Day creation. <laughs> this is not the only thing I am getting my mom, okay? If you stick around for later this week, you will see what I actually made for my mom, okay? Okay, this is not just it for her Mother's Day present, okay? I made something very special for a special mom. Kelly Barlow Creations, special mom. But, I'll see you guys back here next time. Peace.